So hi Paul, so just want to introduce yourself and uh, where you farm and what you farm. Yeah, so I'm Paula Castle, or Paula George now, um, of R&J Castle Limited. We farm, farm around the Falmouth area. We're growing around 400 acres of winter brassicas and then we dabble in a little bits of other stuff, a bit of corn here and there and some cover crops. Uh, we look after about 600 acres in total through the year. But yeah, that's what we do. Thank you. Um, and so what are the main challenges you face growing cauliflower? Uh, so there's, there's quite, <laughs> quite a range of challenges. Uh, obviously we do a lot of our planting cauliflower wise in the summer. So we've had lots of drought periods and just getting the seed bed right. Then we suffer from uh, cabbage root fly when we've just planted, uh, obviously Jura's ban went, but you know, usual pest issues added with the weather causes us quite a few issues. By the time we get into the winter months, we're still trying to tidy up aphid, causes a lot of problems at the moment. And then it's basically fungicides trying to keep the crop, crop clean for harvest. Right. Yeah, and what, what's the main uh, challenge with the fungicides at the moment? Uh, so being able to travel because we get our fair share of rain down here so harvest intervals um, are really important with a crop like cauliflower because you you know most of the HIs are sort of 21 days on fungicides we've got a few that are sort of 14 but where we get uh, we don't have a very level temperature set so we get a lot of rapid growth and then slow growth so it's all about timing your harvest interval right so that if a crop takes three weeks to harvest you're not going to lose your last harvest due to dropping all the leaf off of the crop basically mm -hmm. so. um, and uh, which which bear products have you had a look at this season oh well this season we've been really well yeah we've used nativo which has been amazing the greening effect has been brilliant but basically anywhere that we've used the nativo we've had no ring spot the crop is looking extremely healthy as a whole and it's just been a phenomenal fungicide for us really it's really helped us to up our game so we've got uh, crops that are on harvest at the moment that were sprayed with nativo four weeks ago and they've been on harvest for nine days now there's no sign of ring spot coming into them they're beautiful it's really really effective it's you know sometimes with other products you'll get your three weeks of clean crop and then you'll straight away start to see some form of infection coming in but nothing so far and we've had some warm wet weather as well to test it so yeah it's been really good Fantastic. Really good. Um, and so, what could um, what in the future looking forwards? What what do you need? What could Bayer help you with in the future? Uh, we have we have um, we grow spring green, so collards. Any sort of chemical. There isn't a lot of choice with spring green as to what we can use on them. It's a very limited uh, draw. So if you know if Bayer could look at something that we could use fungicide wise and insecticide wise on collards. That would be brilliant i know that mrls are a bit of an issue with spring green but it's definitely something that we're struggling to get all the bases covered with um, and really <laughs> insecticides is becoming a big big thing we've got a lot of problem with aphid and you know sometimes we're having to spray crops twice we've lost biscaya now which is really worrying because that's that's given us a good um, period of cover. So, you know, an insecticide to add to the mix would be really good. Something to replace with scare would be awesome. Fantastic. Thanks, Paula. Thank you. <laughs>